uh, trying to catch ducks for waterfowl banding. Um, it's part of a, a project for uh, population estimates. Um, the data that we collect can be used for um, harvest estimates, um, population estimates. We can kind of determine home ranges, um, basically where we ban birds and then where they're harvested. Um, we can kind of track, you know, where they've come from, where they've been, where they wind up. And Kate just likes to pull the sled to get her exercise, so we just take it out there just to turn around and pull it back. A version of CrossFit. So basically, we'll start out at a site like this. Um, we'll, we'll usually pre-bait it for a couple days with corn, um, and then we'll set up our trap. Uh, it's a welded wire trap, and we just have posts that are kind of holding everything together. And then we have a, a mesh net that goes on top. Once they're in the trap, we'll go out with a net, we'll dip all the birds out, hold them all in a crate or in a pen, um, and then we can band them all and release them all together. With each bird, uh, we'll, we record the band number, we record the, um, the age of the bird, the sex of the bird, so male or female. Um, we usually try to record um, molt patterns, so you know, is it currently molting, uh, has it already molted, um, those are the, the feathers, so they replace their feathers annually. And so we, we try to tell it at what stage they're in. So that was a green wing teal. Um, they're pretty common here in Delaware. Um, they're actually the, the smallest uh, North American waterfowl. And uh, typically this time of year we're targeting black ducks, but obviously we can't choose what which ducks go in the trap. So this trap is being set right now for black ducks, but any bird we get in the trap we will band. We usually begin trapping um, right at the close of the waterfowl season, uh, which is usually at the end of January or, or early February, and then we'll usually continue banding until about March 15th, um, somewhere in there. It all depends on the weather um, and how birds are responding to the trap. If we're still catching ducks, we'll keep going, but if we're not having much luck, we usually wrap up around March 15th. Um, a good trap day is 50 or 60 ducks. Um, a bad trap day is one. Yeah. So these bands, um, will be reported back to us from hunters. So if a hunter harvests uh, the duck, then they can take the information that's printed on the band. Um, all of the bands have a, a website. Um, some have a 1-800 number that the hunter can either go online and enter that information or they can uh, call in and, and report that information. It's very important for hunters to, to return or to report those bans because um, it helps the, the people that are making the regulations and the rules um, you know, better do their job.